he says, was swamped with unvaccinated COVID patients. They waited more than six hours to be seen. And at one point, his son's appendix burst. A rupture that can ultimately be fatal. Out front now, Nathaniel Osborne. And I'm happy to say uh, that your son, Seth, is, is fine now, back home. But your ordeal is one that no one should have to face, Nathaniel, and, and keeps a lot of parents up worried about what they would do in, in this kind of a situation. So tell me what happened. You go to the ER. Your son is in terrible pain. Tell me what happened from there. Uh, sure. Um, you know, walking in, it was pretty clear. It was awfully full. Um, you know, my wife and I had to stand while we were waiting. Um, it ended up being six, perhaps six and a half hours. Um, it was difficult sitting there with him, kind of watching your child kind of shiver in pain. It was, I mean, it was, it was really, really unpleasant. Um, at that time, it was, you know, something like seven in the evening. He was taken out of the emergency room or the uh, waiting room um, with my wife. And she asked one of the nurses, so, so what, what's going on? Why did we have to wait so long? And the nurse rolled her eyes and said something to the effect of like, what do you think? We're slammed with COVID. Mm-hmm. And that was a disappointing thing to hear. I mean, I'm sure it was. I mean, cause you're, you're sitting there and in those hours, you're watching your child severing with pain and fever and um, in his actual appendix ruptures, right? I mean, you. you this this deteriorated in a way that obviously it would not have if he had been able to get the care right away. I, that seems like a safe assumption. I, I This is not my field of expertise, but I, that seems like a reasonable deduction. So you're, you're in that waiting room and you're vaccinated, your wife is vaccinated, your family is vaccinated, thank God your son is 12, so you don't have to worry about that as well because you had gone out and got the vaccines. But The hospital where he was treated told ProPublica in a statement that 90% of the COVID patients that they have are unvaccinated. How frustrating is it uh, that unvaccinated patients were, you know, taking all those resources when they could have been vaccinated and your son's health meantime is in serious jeopardy? You know, um, I take perhaps a slightly more patient approach, but quite frankly, Upon reflection of what we went through, I, I think what parent wouldn't get frustrated to some extent to, as it dawns upon you that like maybe my kid didn't have to suffer as much as he suffered. Like what parent wouldn't, you know, yeah, sure, reach a degree of frustration. I don't want other people to have to go through that. Um, so I don't want grandmas and grandpas to have to die before it's their time. Uh, I see it around us here in Florida a lot. Um, I feel like this is not a partisan thing to say. I've been accused of it, but like, I encourage people to get vaccinated because I don't want your child to go through what my child went through. Like, that's what I have to offer. Like, that's 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 all I got. Well, it's also the truth. Um, can I just ask how is Seth doing now? Yeah, thank you. That's 